welcome to electrical stuff youtube channel this is a platform we are going to learn here electrical knowledge in the building sectors so today we are going to learn about the final distribution boards and its calculations let us start our video so in this video we are learning about what is final distribution boards what are the components inside the final distribution boards and calculation of a final distribution boards so what is final distribution boards final distribution boards is a element which distributes the power supply to final electrical circuits so final distribution boards also called consumer units distribution boards is a combination of breakers bus bars enclosures and isolators final distribution futures it's compliant with iec 61439 standards current rating up to 250 amperes short circuit withstand capacity 17 ka for 200 milliseconds so this is uh, our distribution boards here we are seeing the main incomer then uh, we have mcbs outgoing breakers and next we have here uh, these parts are the bus bars this is the internal rybb bus bars and neutral bus bars and earth bus bars and then finally we have a enclosure these three elements breakers bus bars enclosures these three elements we will learn today so before that one we will see what are the components inside the distribution boards what are the main isolator this is our main isolator a snyder uh, isolator then this is the elcb or rcd uh, then we have mcbs then we have a bus bars then neutral link earth links and finally enclosures these are the components i am showing here in uh, uae we have abu dhabi and dubai regulation two different uh, distribution modes i am going to show here this is a dubai a typical uh, distribution boards and this is a abu dhabi abu dhabi we have a two kind of uh, distribution boards with the main incomer outgoing sabe rcbos and second one is a we have a uh, main incomer with two lcbs uh, with mcbs these are the this is the one section and here also one section so let us see a distribution boards Uh, practically how it will look like you see this is a main incomer this part uh, is a this see this is a main incomer we have a, this is isolator then uh, neutral section and these are the rcbos yes then uh, here we have a uh, see this one rcbo 20 ampere rcbos these are the outgoing terminations this is the compartment this is the earth bus bar how it will be look like so so let us start our calculation parts so uh, we have a a distribution boards earlier i am explaining you in my videos we need a load then it will be distributed uh, how it will be connected to the distribution boards see these are the my load if you are seeing here i have a socket loads i have uh, this is a, a ring socket a ring a ring circuit have a two uh, two powers two incoming power supplies this is a radial circuit radial circuit have a one incoming power supply then washing machine these washing machine water heaters and i have a cooker so all these are connected to here earlier video you are showing how it is connected the uh, phase and neutral and earth uh, respective circuits to the distribution boards so we main important thing load so let us see commonly house our house what are the loads available so what is our loads in our, in our domestic application lighting load we have socket outlets air conditioning and kitchen appliances washing appliances water pumps so what are the what are these uh, loads 
see lighting we are assuming for 100 watts otherwise if you know actual rating of the lamp you can provide the, those things and uh, chandeliers we are using 500 watts and 13 ampere sockets 200 watts and uh, for a single socket a single socket 200 watts and two uh, for twin sockets we are using 400 watts and then uh, if you know actual rating you can provide the actual rating water heaters 1500 watts washing machine 1500 watts otherwise actual rating cooker 300 watts otherwise actual rating fridge 300 watts motors actual rating air conditionings uh, full rating so 110 ac what is the wattage 3517 watts so next part we will learn about the cables and breaker selection let us start uh, here ic is a ic is equal to circuit load current in is equal to protective device nominal current rating id is equal to current carrying capacity of the conductors these are the main three elements represented if you see ic is equal to load current in is equal to breaker current id is equal to cable withstand current this three element so how it is the relationship id uh, id that is cable current is greater than or equal to breaker current breaker current greater than or equal to load current so uh, further id is greater than or equal to minimum 1.15 time of nominal current ratings so cable must be selected with the ratings at least 1.15 times of protective device nominal current rating so let let us see an example of breaker selection so here breaker selection i have i'm assuming i have a load 404 kilowatts consider power factor 0 0.8 then uh, power is equal to vi cosplay for single phase we know the formula so i is equal to that is uh, load current is ic uh, that is equal to p by v into cos pi so then i c is equal to 4 into 1000 uh, 4 kilowatt means 4 into 1000 watts divided by 230 this is voltage single phase voltage then 0.8 is equal to power factor that equal to 21.79 amperes so in is equal to uh, the breaker breaker uh, size we don't have a 21.79 ampere breaker so we are going for the 32 amperes breakers so cable current that is id is equal to 1.15 times of in 1.15 into 32 that is equal to 36 0.8 ampere as per the ADDC standards. So as per the uh, BS7671 uh, standards, if you're referring these standards, we have a grouping factor. We have a grouping factor. For example, 30 degrees grouping factor consider one, 38 degrees grouping factor 0 0.87, 50 degrees grouping factor 0.82. So, uh, in in another way, we can find out uh, uh, cable current. That is, ID is that equal to IN uh, breaker current divided by grouping factor. In our case, 32 is the breaker current divided by we in uh, UAE uh, we consider 50 degrees as a 50 degrees temperature. So. Uh, 50 degrees grouping factor is equal to 0.82. So 32 divided by 0.2, that equal to 37.64 amperes. That equal to cable current. Uh, here I am giving a shortcut. Shortcut for you. So shortcut is equal to uh, that is equal to breaker size. Break, how to find out the breaker size? Breaker size is equal to load into load multiplied by six times. You will get a breaker size. So our case, 4 into 6, that equal to 24. See, if this 24 is matching uh, approximately 21.79 amperes. So next breaker says 32 amperes. And this is how we can find out our breaker, uh, breaker sizes. So next step is equal to cable selection. So we have a cable selection. We have a chart. This is our chart. This is from the DoCap. I, I pick from the DoCap. DoCap is a largest cable supplier in the Gulf market. So from, from there, I, I pick this one. So here, uh, if you see first column, 
conductor cross section area this is equal to 1 mm square 1. mm square 2.5 mm square 4 6 10 16 25 35 these are the cable cross sectional areas so uh, for this cable uh, cable cross section areas what is the current carrying capacity for two cables single phase ac or dc if you have a single phase this is for example 1 mm square uh, it will carry 13.5 amperes, 1.5, 17.5 amperes, 2.5, 24 amperes, 4, uh, 4 cable, 32 amperes, 6 is equal to 41. This is how uh, current carrying capacity will be considered. So our case, our cable, if you look back uh, our, uh, our case, the breaker, breaker cable current, that ID equal to 37.64 amperes. So here, if you see 37.41 uh, cable, which is equal to our 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 case cable cable selection that is equal to six mm square cable is required for four kilowatt load. So usually in uh, UAE for lighting circuits, we are using to two point square mm, and power circuits four square mm. For ACs, we are using six square mm. Uh, this is the nominal uh, nominal so nominal cable sizes. So third most important point, bus bar selection. Bus bar selection. This is a I uh, from Diva. I am picked this uh, chart. For example, 160 amp, 160 ampere, 200 ampere, 300 ampere. Bus bar sizes is equal to 20 mm by 10 mm. 400 ampere, 30 into 10 mm. Uh, and 600 ampere, 800 ampere, 50 into 10 mm, or two numbers 30 into 10 mm, 200 ampere, 1600 ampere uh, ratings, two numbers 60 mm into uh, 10 mm, 2400 amperes, two numbers into 80 into 10 mm. These are the bus bar sizes. For to know detailed uh, bus bar calculations, uh, watch uh, my video, bus bar calculations and sizing. In this video, I clearly explain how to calculate the bus bar sizes. So finally, uh, we have a, uh, we, we reach our last part that is equal to FDB enclosure selection. How to select the FDB enclosure size? Distribution enclosures to choose based upon the number of modules. So UAE, uh, our DBs are limited to 42 ways for single phase, 14, uh, 14 ways for three phase. So uh, ELCB, as I told you, we have uh, inside the DBs, ELCBs, four modules. An incomer isolator, we consider as eight modules. MCB or CBOs, we consider as a one module. Under voltage relay, that is equal to one module. Contactor, that is equal to four modules. Row, each row capacity as per the manufacturers, uh, we have a standard 12, 16, 24. Uh, how, how they are each row, how many modules required they are designing usually 12 16 24 this is the format so size of enclosure size of enclosure equal to total number of modules divided by number of rows that equal to 12 16 24 so uh, for this uh, calculation if you want to know exact uh, enclosure selection so for you have to be calculate total number of modules how you will get a total number of modules in your dbs how many elcbs you have to be considered how many LCBs, how many uh, incomer for sure, incomer one incomer, how many MCBs, and how many under voltage relays or contactors. These all you will be calculated. So then from these values, you will get total number of modules. If you multiply total number of modules by number of rows, that is equal to each row you have considered 12, 12 row DB or 16 row DB or 24 row DB. If you if you usually you we have 12 or 16, uh, multiply by 12, then you will get the size of enclosures. And then from this one, you will get a uh, three row DB or four row DB or six rows DBs. Uh, this is the how you will get a FDB enclosure selection. The following parts are uh, to consider uh, to design a final DB. These are the some uh, uh, some points which uh, we have to be considered during design. First is a final distribution should be limited to maximum capacity 14 ways, three phase or 
42 as single phase. Second point, the phase and neutral conductors in distribution board shall be same cross-sectional area. Phase and neutral conductors should be same cross-sectional area. Distribution boards of rating 200 and ampere and above install in a dedicated room. Distribution boards of rating below 200 ampere may install in a cupboard or other suitable enclosures. Distribution boards shall not be installed in a location where water is used. Within uh, two meter of any pipe or other services, you have to be install a new distribution boards. Uh, another point is distribution boards and all electrical equipment installed outdoors must be corrosion resistance and keep protection against mechanical damage and minimum ingress protection IP55. And all circuits to be protected with earth leakage circuit breakers and earth and neutral bar sizes should be same. So these are the uh, few topics. So in next my video topics, uh, I am we are eagerly waiting how to design a, a home with the practical examples. With uh, and uh, second, we will be start a new series on LV switchgear and type tests. We will be start a new series very soon. Uh, it will be the videos will be continued. Please stay tuned. So in this, uh, uh, we will go for our electrical stuff quiz time. Uh, question number one. So if you have a total number of modules of 48 and each row have 12, then what is the size of enclosure? If you watch this video, you can answer this question. Second one, last week quiz answers. Uh, for a load is 100 kilowatt, what is your breaker size? Answer is equal to 200 amperes. Thanks for watching. Uh, keep supporting uh, me with your subscriptions, likes, and shares. If you like a video, please type on comment section. Thank you so much. Good day.